Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another gardening vlog. Um, today I'm jumping straight in and I am tackling our little she shed here. I'm just clearing it up because I did say in my last video if we did film on the Sunday that I would share it with you and we decided that we were going to seal this floor. As you can see the floor is quite rotted but um, we're putting a clear lacquer over it for the time being and it's come up looking really um, um, lovely which you'll see a little bit later on so I'm just prepping it by vacuuming it and Chris is going to sweep it and get any little screws up and then he'll put the little clear lacquer over it but whilst he's doing that I'm going to be doing some weeding in the garden um, if you haven't watched my vlogs before this if you go back on my gardening vlogs I have a little playlist which I'll pop up on the screen and you'll see what our garden look like um, before we've started here we were affected by the floods here in southeast Queensland and we're just getting it all back together and making it a lovely space to unwind on those beautiful sunny days so I'm going to stop chatting for a bit and I'll have some gardening montage for you So whilst we are gardening today, Chris is just going to clean out the pool first. There's still no salt in any of the shops. Um, so we have kind of just cleaning the pool, running our little barracuda um, filter cleaner, pool cleaner. 
can I get it out? <laughs> it's a pool cleaner and we really like it. Um, and he's just going to be on all day cleaning the pool. Um, but we cannot wait to get salt water so the pool is beautiful and crystal clear. But how gorgeous are the dogs? They just sit and pose. <laughs> um, it's quite funny when I'm looking back now. They've always, in never right next to each other, but they're always kind of posing similar, similarly. But um, so I'm going to do some more gardening today. Chris is going to first put some sand under our water tank here that we fill up our pool with. Um, that's what the sand's for. And just so it straightens up so it doesn't lean over and collapse. And whilst I'm gardening today, Chris is going to be prepping and putting the skirting boards on and any trims on in the she, sh she shed so we can sand it and paint it and the chooks are out in the garden with us today as well these are my dad's chickens and they've come over from his house to our house and they're pottering around in the garden today too so you'll see the three of them running around and this one's st stuck with me all day gardening in this little gardening bed so I'm going to be weeding over here and I'm laying out cardboard as well and then covering it with mulch but I've already planted some runners in there and so I'm just going to tie my hair back and get into cleaning not cleaning this is not a cleaning video into gardening Zinner undercoat. I'll share what it is. We're going to give it all a good undercoat. Chris put this clear lacquer on the floor last weekend, which I'll insert. But I don't know if I'll film it. I'll film some of this, but we're going to give it a bit of a clean as well.
Splinter. Bonnie with trap. So, I've just lay mulch down and some cardboard and the chickens have decided to um, dig up my mulch. The pool is coming along nicely, there's still no salt, but we gave it a good clean today, it's cleaning. So I'm going to put more cardboard along here and the mulch as well. I've just rolled up that cable reel. Rubbish. It's not going to get burnt. I've just popped it there so it won't blow away. My dogs. What's going on with my camera? And another chook coming along. nephew's mower um, that I'll proudly use in here in my little vegetable garden and give it a nice little wipe over so it stays all nice and cute. I might even stick this back down so it's all nice. So that is very special to have this in my garden. Very grateful for that. And I don't know where the red chook has gone. That black chook over there is definitely having a field day. <laughs> oh, I don't really want them to fluff it up, but they're enjoying it, so I'll let them do that. Oh no, they're having a very good time. <laughs> Bonnie, and Pearl, Bonnie and Pearl had a lovely time last weekend digging the hole here next to my olive tree. So I have to fill that in. My salvia. Look how big it is. Love it. And these are little cable reels. So I plan on with this cable reel cutting the circle flat so it doesn't roll away. And then I've seen on Pinterest you remove these bits and then fill it up with soil and have like flowers cascading out. So I thought I'd put one in the corner and I've got another one. But um, I want to do Oh, that look really cute. And cottage like farmhousey country garden. That's the word I'm looking for. Farmhousey country garden. But look at that. So we are we were planning on getting the undercoat under here today, but we've still been putting trim up. Well Chris has been. Um I'm thinking I'll paint the same colour of the shed as what we're gonna paint the house. So the house still needs to be painted. Needs to have black trim. Um, we painted this grey over here, but I don't know if I really like the grey anymore. Um, even though I've got touches of grey in the home, I think it's just too much. I'd prefer it to be white. And Chris just said before that we're not going to pop the shed here anymore. He wants to just remove one panel of this so it's a little bit smaller and put it next to the tank around there. So. And then it's definitely out of um, flood waters as well if the flood comes back up because this is just going to be a potting shed. But the girls are enjoying the nice cool. Aren't you Pearl and Bonnie? Pearl! Bonnie! And I just love how neat and tidy mulch makes the garden look. So I mulched last year but a lot of it got washed away. Um, so a lot of people don't really like 
sugar cane mulch, but I love it. I love the smell of it as well. Keeps everything nice. Just dig up the weeds, girls, not the actual flowers. Um, but I just grab a bag every now and again when I'm in Aldi. If I'm doing the grocery shop or if I'm at Bunnings, I'll grab a bag. Um, that lot didn't really go that far, but I did put it on thicker this time. So I need to mulch all in here as well. I've just got all of this stuff out of here for when we're painting. Hey, Paul. I think it might be too late to paint in the day, so I'll have to pop all this back soon. Looks like a mess, but it's coming along nicely. <laughs> Miss Evie, she's eating the grass behind the feeder. But it is just a beautiful, magical, no cloud in the sky kind of good day. It's actually my middle child, my youngest daughter's 16th birthday today. So. A nice potter in the garden and then we'll be getting takeaway later for her birthday. Williams, I need to do my toes desperately, but I've got Williams thongs on because mine broke, also known as slip flip flops. I've got my cream and track poo, pa, poo, track pants on that have just got absolutely filthy. I haven't put any makeup on. I've actually tested positive for you know what, so I have just been, and everyone else has had it, so we're kind of lucky. But yeah, Chris has gone to Bunnings right now and I am unable to go to Bunnings. Thank you so much for watching lovelies. I will see you in my next video and I hope you have a fabulous week. Bye.